In Western Oregon, for the first time, owner Mike Peel's son, Danny, is overseeing their new job site beginning to end. But to stay in charge, this job needs to go smoothly. And it won't be easy. This is the toughest logging he's ever seen. 15 acres of massive old growth cedars and Douglas firs, 200 feet tall and 25,000 pounds apiece, in a steep, narrow valley with no space to land the trees. And I want to make sure that I have as little issues as possible if I'm going to be having this kind of responsibility. Logging this site will be a challenge, but at 3,500 bucks each, the trees are worth it. Well, young Mr. Peel, how are you today? I'm good, how are you guys? Danny's relying on two veteran cutters to provide the experience he lacks. I don't have time and service as a logger as you guys do. Dwayne Deathlefts and Chuck Barklow. I'm just here for whatever you guys need. I know where I stand and I know you guys are the experts, so I'm the wedge that need to get pounded. Any guys need help bucking or anything like that, want to show me some things, I'm available, so. Glad to, I can use all the help I can get. You're here to learn, that's what yep. you're here for. We're here to teach. All right, sounds good to me. Hopefully it's long enough. These man killers are three feet thick, so Dwayne and Chuck are using the biggest guns in their arsenal. So we don't want to take any chances. Customized saws with four foot long cutting bars. This is a hot rotted 661, one of the largest saw that steel makes. And that's a hot rotted Husqvarna, a 390 XP. Let's go have some fun. Yeah. Like a bunch of badasses coming to town. Danny has seven days to clear the site. That means taking down at least seven monsters per day. Oh boy. These are tall trees. This is gonna be real interesting. Easier said than done. Despite over 50 years of combined experience. Come up around the corner, I'll show you something. Dwayne and Chuck don't see anywhere to land the deadly trees without damaging them and costing Peel big money. It's probably the longest lay I've seen. The young leader's only hope is the combined experience of the two veterans. Right back out this way. Yeah, see, I was curious about this shot here. It looks like we got several trees that'll come out here, right? Yeah, jack them right out on this flat right here. I, I think that's what we should do. All right. Cutting trees this massive is why logging is one of the world's most dangerous jobs. And the veterans know better than anyone, anything can go wrong at any time. Who's waiting for this tree? It's gonna come down right here. I did pretty good, I couple the butt. Now they're up against their biggest challenge yet. The crews encountered a two-headed monster, two 20,000 pound, 20 story trees growing out of a single trunk. Chuck needs to bring them both down at the same time. I don't want to cut anymore. Tree's trying to separate. We have one arm leaning at us, and the other one's leaning away from us. But if I cut any more, who knows what will happen. Maybe, maybe they'll separate, and one will actually fall this way, and we can't afford that. So the only thing I can do is play dominoes. Chuck's only option is cutting a third tree with surgical precision and dropping it onto the double taking down 60,000 pounds at once. 
I just got to hit my shot here. This is crucial. If I miss my shot, that arm's going to come back at us. The other one might fall the other way, so I have to nail this thing. They only get one shot. Chuck's cutting the only tree in striking distance. A miss will cost Peel five grand. Or worse, it could destabilize the double, snapping it back and landing it on Chuck, Dwayne, and Danny. Get the hell out of there. Come on, baby. Chuck nails the hat trick, perfectly landing 10 grand worth of trees. Nice shot. Woo! <laughs> With seasoned veterans alongside him, Danny hit today's seven tree goal, keeping Pia logging on track. Everything's going good. We're hitting the right numbers for lengths. I'm having a good day. 